Brought to you by Paul Cigars. Three convenient locations in the Portland metro area. Is there anyone ever that you've, as, as I kind of geek out on hip hop, that you met in the game and said, and just were like, couldn't believe that you were in the presence of that that artist? Once again, Rock him, man. When you met him, when did you, when did yeah, you meet him? When I met him meet in him? 1996. It was my first trip to New York. I've been trying to get to New York since I was a kid. Like since Really? I was yeah, man. So. I finally got a chance to, uh, we had signed a, a group I was in at the time, we signed a little production deal and they flew us out to New York and long story short, man, I'm on 125th Street in Harlem and uh, I got to tell you this quick story. Yeah, right let's here. be, you guys are ready for a, a I, story, I, killer, I, right? I, Classic, yeah, yeah. Now, I was kind of traumatized. I didn't want to meet any more rappers because when I was really young, I met Run from Run DMC. I used to be a huge Run DMC okay. fan. Yeah. yeah. And I met Run at the Benson Hotel here. We won a contest. And I met. <laughs> what was the contest? It was, uh, you know, we had to rap for our school and, you know, a citywide contest. We had to rap for uh, our school and then, you know, you Wait, got if voted. You're gonna tell, you tell a story. We should do a hip hop storytelling sort of thing. I, can, I feel okay. remiss to not have the band <laughs> slightly behind your story. Okay, so come carry on. on, sir. I apologize. I, like right. I apologize. <laughs> Indeed. So I met Run from Run DMC over at the Benson Hotel. I met all of them Russell okay. Simmons and. Rick Rubin, they're all there. And what year is this? And this is, once again, this is probably like 80, this is 87, 86, okay. 87. Okay, okay. And uh, Run, I won this contest. And so Russell introduced me to him. He said, hey, this is one of the kids that won the contest. And Run just started cursing me out, man. He just started cursing. He said, get out of my face. Get these kids out of my face. If they don't have a hit record, get them out of here. And he looked at me on the face. He said, man, if you let me tell you something. If you don't have a hit record, you're nothing. And I was just a little boy at the time. It completely crushed me. So I didn't want. I was traumatized. I didn't want to meet any more of my heroes. You know what? It, we just had. You should have just told him you were. You were in middle school, right? Well, I actually was in high school. You should have started saying you were a new edition. You should have just gone. I'm the sixth <laughs> member of new edition. You're like, baby, I'm a right, man. Candy girl. Right. Just bust right. into a routine. Right, right, right. right. He cursed you. That's before he was a reverend, though, right? This was before he was. Around. I would hope so. Yeah, good yeah, Lord, I don't I mean, want to be in know. his congregation. I mean, I think he might still catch you out today, even though he's really. Around. Yeah, I think. Stand so. up, motherfuckers! <laughs> Praise to motherfucking Lord, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I think he would, man. But years later, I was in Harlem uh, on 125th Street, and my buddies were like, "Man, there goes Rakim. He just passed by Rakim." And I was like, "Nah." And they were like, you should go say something. And I really didn't want to because I didn't right. want him to ruin my impression of him or what I thought about him. But I wound up calling his name. He turned around. And he actually stood there and talked to me for like 15 minutes, man. I answered all my questions. He was the coolest dude in the world, man. Rock him. Good on you, man. Yeah, man. Rev Run, you need to go back to seminary school. <laughs> Stop with that.